many hours you spent on the first half versus the second half of the exam? I, I divide everything like into a half and half. So I make my mind, I have to finish in two and a half hours, no matter what. So that's so, what you did? Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. And you were able to achieve that? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay. And how many questions did you have to guess? A question I have to get. I would say in the morning, maybe maybe six to ten. Afternoon again, I think eight to ten. Eight to ten. Okay. Okay, great. And now, were you feeling confident when you finished the exam? I was. Uh, yeah, in my mind, I was thinking like. Uh, I think I did 70% this time. I, I was sure about it. I got the right answer because it was matching with one of the, exactly with one of the choices. Okay. So I was uh, quite sure, but still I was not sure I'm gonna pass this time <laughs> or yeah. not. Yeah. You always have this doubt. You're like, like I, I think I did okay, but you never know. Like maybe I missed a couple of questions. You, you still have that doubt till you see the results and then you're like, okay, yeah. Now, are there any areas that were difficult that you wish you would have studied more, like environmental maybe? For the first time, I was thinking environmental for the first time. Okay. Because I got eight to 10 questions, hmm. environmental. It was a weak subject for me. And the second time I got uh, eight to 10 questions from construction. Hmm. You know? Okay. So I was like, oh God this construction environment is, is like is difficult for me and you know i didn't pay much attention so the for the third time i study for everything but uh third time i would say uh it was like overall to me it, there was nothing i didn't learn from your course everything i knew about it but one thing i want to mention that because I just uh, attempt those questions, which I, I was 100% sure I know it. And and I wanna get rid of all the questions, which I have no clue. So I check the reference manual. If I don't know, I'm not gonna even flag it. Mm. Spending time on them is kind of, you know, wasting time again. Mm. So, because there, I, I mentioned you earlier, there was uh, eight to 10 fill in the blanks questions. So, so, so I just, you know, finished those at the same moment, but there was some kind of questions, which I know, I, I know it, but I have to pay a little bit more attention. I flagged it and I asked those and I uh, reattempted it again, but uh, I want to mention like they're kind of question, like they involves two things. So they are combined with two subjects. And because when I look at it, I was like, oh my God, I have no idea. When I read it after finishing all the other questions, when I look into it, I said, no, this is quite easy. I didn't fully read the whole question. They are just asking about the frictional thing or just the radius of the thing. So because they involve a kind of transportation and there is something, you know, surveying thing. So the the questions are like, you know, tactfully, you know, combined with two subjects, so. Yeah, at first you look at it and you get scared. You're like, oh my God, two topics are combined. What do I do with this? But you flag it and you're like, I'll take care of this later. You come back to it, you read it and you were like, oh, this is easier than I expected. This is not yeah. that. I just need mm -hmm. to, you know, do the logic steps and then I'll still get the answer, yeah. That makes sense. It's, it's, yeah, it, it, I think it happened to me as well during the exam where I saw like a couple of questions and I was like, oh, wait, this is hard. I'm gonna flag it, come back to it later. I come back, you, I read, you know, like his unknowns, like break it down just like we do in the course. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is easier than I expected. I think that happens a lot. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, were there any topics that were easier than you expected? <laughs> it was uh, math, statics. Okay. Yeah, and one of the questions from dynamics easier than I, I was expecting. Yeah. Awesome. Fluid, fluid mechanics, I was very much comfortable with fluid mechanics, structure engineering, transportation. Now, did you have a lot of conceptual questions on the FE? 
Yeah, this time uh, there were a lot of conceptual questions like before in the past two times. Okay. Now, how did you prepare for them? How did you study for conceptual questions? Like last time I have a little bit confused about determined and indeterminate structure, you know, zero force member and more small things I was not clear after I taking your course, I was I have a more clear picture how to attend those questions. So I, I really like this conceptual, you know, question because I like it's, it's, it's easier if you know it, you can answer you know, in in a in one second. But if it's, it's better than you know calculating a you know one page questions because it takes it's eating up your time. So yeah. yeah, it's funny because actually a lot of the students don't look don't like conceptual questions. But here you are like saying you actually prefer conceptual questions, which makes sense because you know like they're much faster to answer. But I think what's really tricky about conceptual questions is like, how do you prepare for them? And I think that's what a lot of people struggle with. Like, how do you study for the conceptual questions? And what I'm getting from you is that you, you just like, you just focus on learning and trying, like, as you're doing the problems, you really learn and grasp the concept and that really helped you answer those conceptual questions. Is that, is that? Like, yeah, I believe you go through a hundred percent uh like on each or every kind of you know scenario of the question you're gonna get, so uh, you covered almost hundred percent. Like after taking your your course, I don't feel like like oh, Kinsa didn't cover that thing, and you always expect like five questions are you know from somewhere else. You have no clue. It's like once they ask about some of the acts, some some ASTM code, and I have no idea. So okay. I didn't answer that, but you went through all the, you know, structural engineering stuff, all the fluid mechanics stuff. So I have little, little concept. And, and after taking a course, there was nothing new for me. So I think you cover very well, everything, all the topic, you have everything. Okay. That kind of complete course. I'm, I'm kind of glad, like I took this course and uh, I, I was talking to my husband and he was like, uh, so she just launched it and you know i said no i have full faith after watching all the youtube videos <laughs> I have full faith, and i have it done like two times like i have an idea like what kind of question i'm gonna get so she's uh, taking care of every concept so yeah it really helpful for me I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below which FE discipline you're taking. And don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get inspired each time I post new videos. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Yeah,